what's the planet that they've discovered that's out there that you and Eddie are always talking about? Oh, well, they haven't really discovered it. I mean, there's there's no uh, it scientific called? evidence. It's called what? Nibiru. Yeah, Nibiru. And, <laughs> But uh, the idea is based on Zachariah Sitchin, who is a uh, biblical scholar, who uh, is uh, a guy who translated the Sumerian text. Sumerian text is the oldest known uh, the, uh, written language. Sumer was the oldest known civilization. They had they accomplished so many firsts in as far as what we know about human history. We attribute them to having uh, discovered the wheel, written language, mathematics, uh, astronomy, astrology. I mean, this was... We're talking about 6,000 years ago. They had a detailed map of the solar system 6,000 years ago with all of the planets in the proper size and the proper orbit, including Pluto. And we didn't know about Pluto until 1970, you know, and, you know, it was a planet for 30-some-odd years before we decided to declassify it as a planet. But they knew about Pluto 6,000 fucking years ago. I mean, that's incredible. I mean, there was people that were going, being put to death thousands of years later because they suggested that the world was round and that the world wasn't the, you know that the earth wasn't the center of the universe thousands of years after the sumerians people were put to death for those notions but the sumerians knew about it when they also said that everything they learned they learned from the anunnaki and the literal translation of the word anunnaki is those from heaven to earth came you know, and it's the Elohim in the Bible, and the idea of the Elohim, like in in the Bible, uh, the way Zechariah Sitchin breaks it down, is that the, it's those who came down, or the gods, or giants, and there's all these different ways of describing or translating what he said. But what he attributes it all to is another planet that is on a, an elliptical orbit that comes in between Mars and Jupiter every 3,600 years, and this planet is called Nibiru. And what Zachariah Sitchin says, and this is where it gets really kooky, he <laughs> says that human beings are the product of accelerated evolution and that what these Nibiru people, these Anunnaki have done is fuck with their DNA and create human beings. So they would add, you know, Anunnaki DNA and create us. Wow. Who the fuck knows? But it's, it's, it's fun to... <laughs> It's fun to read, you know. I mean, it's. I mean, it's all so tortured. I mean, the uh, the idea behind it is also. You, I mean, you have to be a biblical scholar to just follow the language, you know, just to follow his connections with all these different words from thousands and thousands of years ago and how they translate to today. And you know, they wrote in cuneiform, which is this really crude form of writing. But the really interesting thing of the photographs of the. Um, the clay uh, tablets that these people made back then, you know, the the uh, inscriptions that show the solar system, the inscriptions that show they had the double helix for DNA, that they they already understood that back then, six thousand years ago, and that was their symbol for medicine, which is still our symbol for a pharmacy. You know, in a pharmacy they have the caduceus, they have that that the two snakes that wrap around. You know that yeah, when you see that in a pharmacy. For it's it's for all medical. I'm a I'm a nurse, and it's, yeah, there you it's go. for all of the the medical profession. We actually right. have a doctor in our chat, and he's agreeing with a lot of what you're saying too. Oh uh, well, that's what that's what he said represented it. He said it, that represented a double helix of DNA, and that they understood this. There's there's images back then from six thousand years ago that he the Zechariah Sitchin believes is uh, a depiction of genetic evolution, or excuse me, genetic manipulation. Like the idea being that these people came from another planet and made humans. Who knows? Who knows, you know? I mean, is that, people will think that's ridiculous, but yet they'll go to church and believe Jesus walked on water and came back from the dead. You know, it's like <laughs> what people choose to believe is ridiculous and not believe is ridiculous is uh, very fascinating, you know? Human beings are uh, very curious animals. Hey, you know what, Joe? Jesus didn't tap. 